What's up YouTube, Herb Wars here, and today we're talking about modern gaming and how crazy it is right now. Um, Game-wise, there is a million things going on in this uh, month alone, I find. Let's go Pikachu, let's go Eevee. Those are two games that I'm playing currently. Uh, Destiny, the new expansion just dropped today, Black Armory. I'm a huge Destiny fan, we all know this. Uh, Red Dead Redemption 2... The multiplayer just dropped. That's something that I have yet to even dabble in because I'm still playing the single player. And that's the type of game, just like Grand Theft Auto, obviously, Rockstar made it, that you can find yourself um, distracted easily. Like, I, I go out and hunt grizzly bears. Get destroyed by the grizzly bears, but I try to kill them anyway. Or, you know, I'm trying to kill deer with a bow and arrow on the back of my horse. Or trying to lasso random people and... That game you could just get lost in. Diablo 3, even though I beat it on my Xbox One twice, I'm playing through it again on my Switch on a harder difficulty, and I'm playing as a Necromancer, which is really fun because the Necromancer class is awesome. Um, now we got Smash Brothers coming out Friday. That game, obviously it's a huge hype for everyone. My kids and I cannot wait. Uh... I really am excited to unlock all the characters. I'm excited for the single player mode. I'm excited for all the spirits to unlock. That's That game is massive. Uh, like I said, Let's Go Pikachu. Well, actually, we're playing Let's Go Eevee, to be honest. And um, the kids won't, my sons won't let me play the game unless they're home. It's like if they're not at their mom's because they go to their mom's two nights a week. So those two nights, which has been Wednesday and Thursday nights, I'm not allowed to play Pika or Pokemon. Which is okay, I just play other games, but um, because I fucking have more games than I even know what to do with. And um, not that, you know what I'm saying. I have more games, I, I'm totally fine with that. And I like to play, and like, because I mean, it's awesome I, having kids. They're like, you know, they're like my best friends. This, you know, my kids are six and seven. My seven year old's turning eight. But anyway, I'm just rambling. I'm sorry about that. They like playing Let's Go Pokemon or Pikachu or Eevee. And we've been having a great time. And I like playing. And I fucking love Pokemon. I'm not going to sit here and act like I don't. And um, so I've been playing that. I've been playing a little bit on my PSVR. I'm playing Skyrim because I'm trying to prepare myself for Borderlands 2, which is going to be fun. Uh, also, I'm probably going to get so much hate for this. Thursday is uh, the new season of Fortnite. Now, before you, you know, go crazy on me. My, I have, like I said, I have a six and a seven year old. Fortnite is huge right now, and so I play Fortnite to play with the kids. And I gotta be honest with you, it's actually kind of fun after a little bit. At first, I didn't think I would like the game. Uh, I kept trying to play it. I couldn't understand it because you gotta get the concept down. I'm not just killing people and harvesting tools and harvesting material, tools and guns and weapons. But you also have to get down to the building aspect. And there's a lot going on. And you know. I don't know. It's it, it can be a confusing game, but you know it is a fun game. I also tried playing a little bit of Warframe, but that game sucks at explaining what to do. I got to be honest. It does look like a fun game. It looks like a game that I could see people losing themselves to, but the they don't explain shit. You just like get dropped into a mission and that's it. In my opinion, that is the worst game of, of, of explaining things. And I played Destiny. Destiny since Alpha. Destiny sucked at explaining things, but even Destiny was better at explaining things than fucking Warframe is. And Warframe just dropped on Switch, so all my Switch buddies are like, let's play Warframe, but I just can't get into that game. Maybe it's just me. Maybe there's just something that's real simple that I just can't figure out. And this is just modern games. Games right now, it's hard to even keep up. I have yet to even play Spider-Man. Spider-Man's sitting on the shelf. I didn't even play it yet. There's just so much going on in modern games that like it's insane. What have you guys been playing? And I mean, I'm not even counting my retro gaming stuff because I play retro games just as much as I play ret modern games. It, it, I'm sitting here acting like it's a crime, like it's, like it's so hard to be me. But it's not just me. It's every other gamer in the world right now. There's so much going on. So with that being said, this is just another video game vlog about modern gaming. What have you guys been playing? I would love to know. Please comment in the comment section below. And even if these videos, I know that they don't take much effort to make. But I know even if one person watches it, which would probably be you, Ice Pirate. I know you're watching this. 
it's worth me making. Um, anyway, guys, I do have a couple videos in the works. Uh, one that actually includes gameplay, because I haven't done one of them in like three videos. But I actually have to finish the game because I did not beat it yet, so I don't feel right talking about it. I have some gameplay already recorded, but I want to full-on beat the game before I talk about it because it's the first time I played the ga a game in this series. So I'm pretty excited to talk about it. Uh, when that will be, I'm not sure because I have yet to beat the game. And with everything going on in modern gaming, I don't know when I'm going to beat the game. Anyway, I'm just rambling now. Thanks for watching, guys. Herb Wars out.